Hi everyone, it's obvious that information communication technology has played a huge role in our lives and in every sector. If you take a look at the banking sector, education sector, telecommunication sector, and even the agricultural sector, you will find information communication technology being used in one way or the other. So in today's class, we're going to define information define communication, give the full meaning of ICT, state the components of ICT, list parts of a computer with their users, the benefit of a fast machine, and as well as importance of ICT, and many more. So we move to definition of terms. What is information and communication technology? That is ICT. This can be defined as processes involving the processing, sending and receiving, storing and retrieving information through the electronic devices. Information could be referred to as messages or set of data. What is communication? Communication is a transfer or passing of information from one person to another. Communication occurs through printed or electronic media. Example of printed media include textbook, newspaper, journal, etc. Why television, telephone, radio are all examples of what electronic media. Here we have what is technology. A technology is the method and device used in passing and receiving information. Components of ICT. The components of ICT include the computer, the telephone, or mobile phones, fast machine, and the internet. What is a computer? A computer is an electronic device used in processing, storing, and retrieving information. The computer is made up of input devices and output devices. The input device is used in capturing information, while the output device is used in displaying information. Examples of the input devices include the keyboard, the keyboard is used to type information into the computer. The mouse. This is a pointer used to select and move items, data, information that are displayed on the screen. The light pen. This is used to display many options on the screen. We have the microphone. The microphone converts human's voice into electrical. And the punch card. The punch card is a method of getting information directly into the computer. Examples of the output devices, we have the monitor. The monitor displays information or data generated by the computer. The printer, the printer produces a paper copy of the information displayed on the monitor. We have the speaker, the speaker gives the audio feedback, while the plotter is used to produce vector graphic drawings. We talk about the telephone. The telephone are used to send and receive audio information, messages, and pictures, and so on. We also have GSM, which stands for Global System for Mobile Communication, and the components include SIM card and handset. We move to the fast machine, that is the number fourth component of ICT. The fast machine are electronic devices used in sending and receiving copies of information across distance location. We talk about the internet. The internet enables massive exchange of news, opinion, data, etc. It is a global set of connections of computers. The internet provides a medium for many people to communicate at a time uses or importance of ICT. ICT is used in businesses. Example, we have the electronic banking. ICT is used in sending and receiving information. ICT provides quick communication. Example, information in USA could be had in Nigeria within a few minutes through the CNN, BBC, and other channels. ICT helps education through improved teaching since students and teachers can easily access huge information on the internet. In summary, 
ICT means information communication technology and the components include the computer, telephone, fast machine and the internet. We define computer as an electronic device used in processing, storing and retrieving information and it is made up of two devices which include the input devices and the output devices. So for your evaluation, please answer the questions below. Thank you. Have a nice day.